Alrighty, I think it's about time we do another artist appreciation, honestly. I've been looking through a bit of older videos and recent videos mainly, trying to see what exactly is something that we can necessarily do. Because oftentimes, again, a lot of you guys have said that there's potential on this channel for great things to happen, but that potential has never really been activated. And so right now, more than ever, I've been trying to focus on how to activate that potential. Just to put it out there in the forefront, we're just gonna go ahead and go ham on this side of the fence of things and see what we can dig up. And also, when it comes down to it, a lot of people, anytime I talk about a specific lolly character which mainly eerie and anytime i use literally the scene where she's you know shaking that behind on that bench oftentimes i get people telling me yo who's the artist for that you know where where did that come from who made that and today i'm gonna be answering that request so today's artist appreciation is gonna go to divine wine or for our lollicon people vampirian or whatever the hell that H-Y-A is supposed to be pronounced, but whatever. But we're gonna call him Divine Wine just for this whole thing. But when it comes down to it though, yeah, this is a artist that really knew how to brew down with the damn ass cheeks of certain characters. Again, with Eerie, with the whole bench shaking cake honestly scene, we didn't necessarily have Divine Wine going ham on that. We wouldn't have the big booty Eerie anthem that we like to play sometimes. Big booty eerie, big big booty eerie, big booty eerie, big big booty eerie, big booty eerie, big big booty eerie, big booty eerie, big big booty eerie. When a good thing goes bad. But when it comes down to it though, yeah, this person, at least when I kinda look throughout the scenes of the artists that we have seen and done before, to be honest, they capture the spirits of D art. I'm not gonna hold you. Because a lot of the time, while they do do a lot of variety stuff, which is something that DR doesn't necessarily do with different parts of the body, you can definitely see that there is a lot of different motions and different type of angles of the cheeks that you can definitely see on certain characters. And they are all hella glorious. I think out of anybody that has gotten really a lot of representation of who has the best ass cheeks, I think it's Pan from Dragon Ball GT. Now, when it comes down to it, I obviously know how I feel about Pan. We all know how we feel about Pan. And I already said before, you don't see a woman wearing jeans unless they're trying to show you the cheeks. Obviously, we see in Pan just shake the cheeks a lot of damn time when it comes down to any of the art that Divine Wine has created. To be honest, it wouldn't surprise me if Divine Wine said that, yeah, Pan is my favorite waifu because of how much ass she does have. It wouldn't come down as a surprise. In fact, it, back then, Pan didn't really have a lot of content to really be looking through. So, honestly, if the younger version of myself seen how much content Pan actually gets in the future, I think he would be pretty much happy. Probably shouldn't see all this stuff back then, but, you know, he would be definitely happy. Another thing about his art that I feel like you probably could pay attention to for 10 seconds is that it varies a lot of the time when it has like maybe some detailed cheeks being drawn or maybe some detailed artwork here and here but not necessarily all the time. Now if I had to come to a conclusion as to why some art have like detailed skin and you know some don't necessarily have that maybe it's because it's too time consuming maybe and maybe they're just trying to save time to you know animate certain things and make it pop off the way it needs to without all that skin detail and just do it for the like stationary pictures or the pictures that's going to be gifts and that's going to be basically about it and i can kind of see that because yeah you know if you're trying to maximize all your time as much as you can and if you're trying to draw like a lot of things all at once and then also dedicating a portion of your time to more characters that isn't lolly and have that for that side of the audience then yeah i can definitely see why you want to divide your time in ways where you know you're actually being able to have more people to see your work and stuff i can understand that for sure but the one cool thing about having like so many different styles or ways and effects of how characters are drawn in certain positions and stuff i would definitely say that it is interesting and it's a style that can never really be boring if it even is a style because we know now that some artists don't necessarily just have their own style they'll just copy someone's style or copy a style of the show that they're you know creating or whatever and essentially when it comes down to it 
you know it's like it's nice to see that there is a bit of variety that kind of goes around in different ways because it's not super consistent and super tight to something it's not wrong if you don't have a style but it's nothing wrong if you also do have one too right and it's nice to see though that you know even if lolly is not necessarily like your thing you could still enjoy the work of you know divine wine and what they put down but if I were to take a personal guess or an assumption, I would definitely say that the lolly side is probably the side that gets, you know, the attention that they most want to put down with that. Because again, you don't drop a whole five minute animation on Pan getting her ass cheeks clapped in the world tournament only for that to not matter as much. Now don't get me wrong, the Maruko one was pretty damn good as well, like who wouldn't want to clap those dark skinned cheeks, but at the same time, there's something about that pan one, or the Eerie's ass shaking one, or literally anything of the lolly variety that speaks more and hits on 10 different volumes then you have, you know, anything else essentially. But a bit of a hot take and a bit of a request though, if we have a bit more Gabby Braun and a bit Konako, you know, I'll be happy with that. If we can have those two things, you know, things will be pretty much set. And I'm not gonna stop asking until somebody fulfill one of my damn requests. But that's essentially what I have to say for this one. If you did enjoy, you know, Divine Wine's work, definitely go follow them on Twitter and also go follow them in different areas where they might have you know their lolly content be at because again the ass cheeks of these characters is honestly insane literally just on some DR levels of shaking and jiggling because why wouldn't you want that but that's essentially what I have to say for this one so hopefully you did enjoy if you did be sure to like share subscribe hit the notification bell out also follow me on socials which is Twitter and Blue Sky and if you'd like to donate to the channel Ko-Fi and Cash App is available as well and until then it's Foje signing off have a set.